Hello everyone, welcome to the first video in a CAD Guild's series of tutorials on data science. In this video, we discuss the different types of data, statistical mean, median, and mode, and the impact of outliers on the mean. Data can be divided into three broad categories, numerical, categorical, and ordinal. Numerical data is the measure of things in numbers. They can be either discrete or continuous. Discrete data measures things in whole numbers, for instance, the number of apples a person buys at the store. Since you can't buy half an apple, this data will always be an integer, six apples, or a dozen, twelve, and so forth. Continuous data, on the other hand, need not be a whole number. It could be any of the many possibilities between two integers. For example, the amount of rainfall in a day could be 6.5 millimeters, or 23.1 millimeters. It need not be 6 or 23 wholly. The second type of data is categorical. It is non-numerical. It quantifies things in categories like gender, ethnicity, nationality, etc. So the gender of a person can be either male or female, not one or two. Having said that, one or two can be used to represent the data categories while collecting it or during tabulation. The third type, ordinal data, is an amalgamation of the first two. This data consists of categories that are in order. Good examples of this kind of data are movie ratings. Numbers, in this case, represent the good and bad categories in a definite order. A five-star rating is given to good movies, while a lower rating of one or two stars is given to shoddy ones. Following the different data types, let's move to the statistical concepts mean, median, and mode. Mean is quite simply the average of a data set. To find it, calculate the sum of all values and divide it by the total number of values. For example, if the data set consists of three values, 6, 6, and 9, then the mean will be 21 divided by 3, or 7. Median is the number that lies in the exact center of a data set after it is ordered. So, if the data set consists of five values, say 1, 5, 2, 7, and 3, then the median will be the center of 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, or 3. If the total number of values in the data set is an even number, then the average of the two values in the center will be the median. A key concept that affects statistical mean greatly is outliers. Outliers are values that lie at an abnormal distance from most other values in a data set. They have the tendency to skew the mean of data sets and is therefore crucial for them. Lastly, we have mode. It is not as commonly used as mean or median. Mode is that value in the data set with the highest frequency, the value that appears the most number of times. In the following data set, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 5, 0, 0 is the mode. To find mean, median, mode in Python, use the code given in our blog article on these topics. The next video discusses two key concepts in descriptive statistics, standard deviation and variance, and how they are useful for data scientists. Watch it to venture out further into the field of data science with a CAD Guild. A CAD Guild. Average is dead.